People deluded, I'm back again. I hope you're all well and safe and you're all doing fine on this Thursday morning. Um, bit of things to speak about, nothing really of relevance. First things first, it's actually not on my paper. Um, you're seeing in the emerging hours, I believe the Times are reporting the Premier League faces the prospect of playing the remaining games behind closed doors. And I don't know if you lot watched PSG versus Dortmund, but that's a, you know, it's a Champions League game. It's a game that gets the neutrals exciting. And yesterday it was an exciting game, but it felt like an academy under 18s game and stuff because the atmosphere was dead without the fans. If the Premier League faces that prospect, at the end of the day, the players have to get on with it. I still want to watch football, but the fans are what makes the game, people. The fans are something different. So if it is going to be placed behind closed doors, I do think teams might contemplate suspending the league. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen in that regards. Obviously, at Arsenal, apparently we're including it where we're trying to do a deep cleanse of our stadium. Obviously, in light of the threat of Corona with the Nottingham Forest last Olympiacos owner coming to the ground and coming in contact with several people um, who have been quarantined. Nobody's, from what I see online, nobody's tested positive for Corona, excluding the owner. <clears throat> There's no plans to test anybody else, apparently. And yeah, people that did come in contact, as you lot know, have been self-isolating for the last, well, they have to for 14 days. So apparently we're doing a deep cleanse of the Emirates in the training ground. Um, so yeah, people. And it's funny because if you remember, we initially gave a statement in relation to the Olympiacos boss coming and then it could, it quickly changed to a statement where obviously you lot saw where it came to light about self-isolation and whatnot. And I mean, if Wolves versus Olympiacos today is played, um, it's silly, despite the fact it's behind closed doors and it, it's down for UEFA, FIFA and all these governing bodies to really just have some common sense, really and truly. Um... Following strict government guidelines, Arsenal were forced to place players and staff members who had been in, who had been within two meters of Maricanus for around 15 minutes into self isolation for a period of 14 days from the period of first contact. A statement released by the Greek club said Olympiakos informs that after required medical exams to which all members of the football staff, as well as all board members and staff, were submitted. All tests came back negative for COVID-19 virus. So we'll see what happens in that regards. Now, it was all about Oppo McCarnell versus Spurs on Tuesday, people. I would love him, despite the fact I don't think he's the finished article, but he's a terrific player. And I'm sure you all saw Partey um, yesterday in Liverpool's defeat, pardon me, against Atletico Madrid. Now, Atletico Madrid, pardon my language, complete shithousery when Morata came on, scored three goals in extra time. But it was a bit of a wobble, man, and you're wondering how Liverpool didn't score earlier, sort of thing. Um, and I think Partey showed that he's a baller, and you hear he wants to sign a new contract, you hear Arsenal want him, you hear United want him, you hear all these teams want him. Whether these teams have a legitimate chance of him or not, they need to get him, because obviously it's not... I don't... I, listen, I don't think we can get these guys, but I, I listen, as an Arsenal fan, in the last 48 hours, of course, we looked at Oppo Meccano and, and Partey and thought, ooh... Imagine if they were in our side, two IC3 is doing quite well. Imagine if they were in our side sort of thing, it would be decent. Obviously, we've been linked with Marcel Sabitza as well, who, you know, just for what he did against Spurs, can come to the team, people, really and truly. Apparently, he's a summer target for both Arsenal and Tottenham. How much of that is, is true, how much of that's worse? I wouldn't mind Sabitza, he's good technically, he can play in a couple of positions. I think he's in his early slash mid-20s, so he's got time on his side while he's not going to be a difference maker per se you know he's a decent player um irrelevant but relevant stats people sadly you've seen tom hanks actually test positive for corona but you've seen daniel renagli um um regani sorry regani of, of juventus has tested positive you've seen the nba have suspended their season already said if i haven't said it already all football matches in England will be played behind closed doors under government plans to combat coronavirus that could be triggered as early as next week. Again, it's not fact. It's just what we're seeing. Um, what else is there, people? Arteta on Hector Bellerin, he said, Hector has been having some discomfort for a few months. He's been trying to deal with it all the time. His attitude is to try and play and be available. Has been great and there's nothing new. So again, I have to wonder, OK, I hear that, that Bellerin's not fit and, you know, he's trying to put himself on the line and it's commendable. But at what point, once again, 
you know, because Bellerin, you know, at the end of the day, if you play, regardless of injuries and stuff, we can admit that you've got injuries and factor it in. But if you're fit enough to play, you're in the firing line. And to all fans, including myself, who, you know, don't know or see these things, you're wondering why Bellerin's dropped off, excluding the obvious. You're wondering why is he playing? You're wondering why is his form so bad? So if he's not, at, you know, at a suitable standard to help us and he's got injuries and, and whatnot, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense to play him. So I do have to question why we're putting a man's, you know, if he's not fully fit and fully healthy and ready to do his job, why are we throwing him into, you know, into the lion's den of sorts, people? Um, it wouldn't. It wouldn't make more sense. It wouldn't make sense at all. Um, so yeah, shout out to Atletico Madrid as well, man, for what they did against Liverpool. You know, imagine Liverpool winning the league and the champs. It, we wouldn't be able to deal with it. Um, so, yeah, I don't think there's anything else, people, in regards to Arsenal news. It's rather depressing if we do face that prospect. Um, I've already said that we're linked with Miguel Amarino in a previous vid, which is just was. Um Hopefully something gets resolved, people, because it, it is quite scary, people, this coronavirus, the way, you know, that it's coming to light and things like that. But I've got nothing more to add, so I'm just going to keep it moving. Yeah, man, we need to get Partey and Oppo Meccano deals done if there's a small chance. On that note... People deluded, I'm out. Thank you for watching and rocking as usual.